Shell doubled their profits last year, and let's call this what it is. It's war profiteering. They make they some this. of the money here, mm. they make some of the money internationally, but yeah. they pay their taxes here, so we are able to tax them here. They are an oil company, um, so the oil won't be coming largely from here. If they we may tax be... them more here, isn't there a risk that Shell will just move their headquarters to somewhere where they, they don't get these unfair taxes just sprung on them whenever they dare to make some money? Everybody always says this, but actually, if that actually doesn't happen that often because they, what they want is the workforce here, they, you know, the, the work conditions here. There is a trade-off to be made, but doubling your profits in a year like the one we've just had what about is just in not a trade-off I'm in willing to accept. In 2020, Shell lost $25.5 billion. So uh, were, were you clamouring for them to be paid from the public purse then? No, my heart does not break for Shell when they lose money. I'm well, sorry. Well, you sorry, can but have it both ways. You can have you? it both ways. They won't tax taxed on money when they lose it. They provide a huge yeah, amount... Yeah, they're taxed on profit, They provide not a huge amount loss. of employment, and all the money, all the profits they make get paid out to shareholders uh, through dividends. So anybody with a pension is reaping the rewards of Shell's profit. Well, I would vastly separate um, the, the pensions industry from the shareholder industry because this is always the argument that comes back. You can't tax shareholder profit because of pensions. The idea that, it, it, that Mrs Miggins, with her pension down the road, is the one who's going to suffer from this is a nonsense. It is... We need to make sure that I, I am not against making a profit. I'm a business person myself. I run but my not own too business. Much profit. But yeah, exactly. You don't want no. a lot of profit. I, I want, want a reasonable of, amount some of profit. Some sort of Stalinist, sort of centrally taxes. controlled economy. No, no, I want a very, very... I, I, I don't want... I, I'm very anti-central control. I'm a massive localist, so a massive impose, devolutionist. Why do you want but to impose I do a think that we, tax? I, because that tax could then be paid to people in Blackburn, in, in Bromley, in places that, where they can really use that money. I would disperse taxes much, much you more. Shell's think shareholders won't be able to use that money? Charles, uh, very rich people hoard money, very, very poor people, people These, spend I mean, money, and that is the, that's how you reinvigorate an economy. You think pensioners are all really rich? No, I don't think pensioners are very rich. I think pension company shareholders are very rich. I tell oh, you well, what... There you go. <laughs> Time, Time out. out. <laughs> <laughs> Time yes. out.